Hello everyone and welcome to the Pongio Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist and let's see what happened in the world of tech in Korea from the first week of November. Let's start off right here. LIG Next One participates in Indo Defense at the Indonesian Defense Industry Exhibition. LIG Next One participated in Indo Defense 2022, Indonesia's largest international defense industry exhibition held in Jakarta for four days from November 2nd. Indo Defense has been held biennially since 2004, and this year's event is the ninth because the 2020 exhibition was canceled due to COVID-19. 550 global companies from 40 countries around the world participated. Through this exhibition, LIG Next One introduced strategic export products that could contribute to Indonesia's military modernization policy, such as the mid-range surface-to-air guided weapon Chenggung-2, the anti-tank guided weapon Hyungung, and the portable surface-to-air guided weapon Shingung. Next up, Neopin and MetaBeat join forces for blockchain using entertainment IP. Neopin signed a business agreement with MetaBeat, an F2E or fan to earn NFT platform to strengthen its blockchain business using entertainment intellectual property. The two companies plan to lay the foundation for popularizing blockchain usage by actively utilizing the entertainment IP to lower the public's entry barrier and expand its base. MetaBeat, scheduled to be released in the fourth quarter, is a service that distributes music content IP in the form of NFTs using blockchain technology. For instance, it publishes works using artists' portrait rights or fan art as NFTs and supports mutual transactions through its own marketplace. For our third main story, we made attracts 66 billion won worth of strategic investment. WeMade has attracted a strategic investment of 66 billion won or about 46 million US dollars. Shinan Asset Management, Kium Securities and Microsoft participated in this investment. Despite the uncertain macro environment and market volatility, this investment deal draws attention as it was made by leading domestic financial investors and overseas strategic investors on favorable terms. Zhang Hyungu, CEO of WeMade, said, It is a meaningful deal in which reputable financial and strategic investors who had achieved excellent results participated. He added, WeMade and WeMix will continue to make efforts to receive more investment and actively make investments to build a global digital economy platform. And for our final main story, Poza Labs attracts Series A investment from CJ ENM. Poza Labs, an AI sound creation company that received a seed investment from Naver D2SF, successfully attracted Series A investment from CJ ENM. Poza Labs is drawing attention in various content industries such as games, advertisements, and TV shows by developing advanced AI sound generation technology that can create user-customized sound sources. With this investment, Poza Labs has established a strategic partnership while stably securing funds to enter the global market. In addition, in close cooperation with CJ ENM, the company plans to make it easier for the users to produce video content, maximize global distribution, advance AI sound generation technology, and expand genres to diversify its sound sources. And now it's time to head over for our news briefs of the week. First up, Kakao Entertainment launches Partner Portal, an artist settlement confirmation site. Kakao Entertainment announced that Partner Portal, a payment confirmation site, is up and running after three months of testing. 
Partner Portal has officially kicked off for the publishers or CP companies and writers who contracted with those CP companies. The Partner Portal provides detailed information as well as basic information about the work such as the type of work, the beginning date of sale, and the end date of sale. User payment details divided into AOS and iOS are provided and you can check the settlement rate between Cacao Entertainment and CP and the amount of tax incurred at the time of settlement. Next up, NeoWiz and Midori are now partnering with NFT business plans. NeoWiz has signed a partnership for an NFT business with Midori, a company specializing in blockchain technology. Through this partnership, the two companies plan to build an NFT service within the Web3 blockchain game platform called IntelliX, which NeoWiz is developing. Midori is to provide development support for NFT exchanges and NFT launchpads by making the most of its rich experience in NFT services. Providing a user-friendly NFT experience is the core of the partnership, and the company plans to exchange technical know-how so that users can easily enjoy the entire process of purchasing, acquiring, and making other transactions with NFTs. And finally, Kakao achieves sales of 1.85 trillion Korean won in the third quarter. According to KIFRS, or the Korean International Financial Reporting Standards, Kakao reported that its sales in the third quarter of 2022 were 1.85 trillion won, up 2% from the previous quarter and 7% from the same period of the previous year. Operating profit was 150.3 billion won, down 12% from the previous quarter and 11% from the same period last year, with an operating profit margin of 8.1%. TalkBiz sales continued to grow to 467.4 billion Korean won, up 3% quarter on corner and 15% year on year. Among them, TalkBiz advertising sales, such as BizBoard and Kakao Talk channels, accounted for a 4% drop of the previous quarter due to slowing growth in the advertising market and the impact of the slow season. And that's it for the Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you.